dropping people. I don't know. They people were just weird. Try to see You know. Maybe it's one of those days where I shouldn't live stream, but I'm going to. I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. We saw the Wiener Mobile. Yeah, something was going on there with that last one. I had to shut it down. Oh, yeah, of course, everyone's heard of Hannibal. Yeah, I... You can see and hear me better. Good. That's why I shut that last one down. I don't know. When I nearly dropped my uh, my phone, something weird happened. Like, I caught it. <laughs> it went upside down, and then it, all these things are going on. So I'm just going to wait until whoever was uh, is trying to figure out if I'm back again. Look at that. Look at the sun behind that. Isn't that cool? Looking? I'm just going to wait here for some more folks to show up. Bit of a lag with audio and video. Hmm. I know. Hey, Phil Hazelton's here. Finally. See, that's what it was. We had to wait for both Phils to be here. Collins and Hazelton. It's uh, kind of like a seven minutes, kind of like uh, a singing duet. Collins and Hazelton. I want to go see them live if we can. So we got 17 people here. Thank you, George Jones. Good, good old George Jones. Some people. She just smiled at me because she saw that I was talking to my phone. She probably thought I was a crazy person or a YouTuber or a TikToker. I certainly don't look like a TikToker. Too old. Too old for that. All right. We got 20 people here. Thanks for being here. Big nerd. Oh, yeah. I'm a big nerd. Check it out. Loud and proud, baby. Loud and proud. Say it loudly. Say it proud. So here's Susanna Dickinson's home. Did you guys hear me talking about O. Henry's home over there in the last one before it shut down? O. Henry, the famous author, used to live here in Austin. And uh, as I said in the original stream, uh, I'm walking and the glare on the phone is hard to, to, to read, so I won't be able to read all your comments. Uh, so I apologize for that. I may have to stop and you know in the shade every now and then and just you know, get my bearings. So we got the fancy Hilton Hotel down here. Ooh. I don't know what that was. All the cops on me. This guy's doing a YouTube video downtown. Gotta shut it down. The man wants to shut me down and I say no. Just kidding. Let's see what do we got here? Gosh, it's so hard to read in the sun. So I'm not gonna be able to read in the sun. So if you have comments and I don't read them, that's why I can't read them. I can't read them. I don't. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't. So we're going to walk back to my car through downtown Austin. Now, behind me, well, let me flip this around. You can see we got the Austin Convention Center. And there's the Sky Bridge. It's kind of nice. You can walk across from the Hilton. If it's too hot outside for you or too cold, which is a rarity. And then if you remember from a live stream when I did the, uh, when it was uh, snowing, this is where I walked to get to work. My hotel was like over there. They put us up in a hotel. Very nice. Very nice. And, uh, but now it's just hot. It's like 97 degrees. I put on some suntan lotion. I got my sunglasses. Because otherwise, oof, that'd be no good. So I won't be able to read your comments because it's so bright out here. I can read. I can read. So I don't feel like I have to prove myself to you. I hope the sound is okay. I hope the picture's okay. What's everybody saying here? Let me see. Yeah, it's so bright. I need to be in the shade. Let me go over here in the shade and we'll look. Uh, am I the only one that when I walk past a hotel like that, I look in the windows to see if anybody's standing there naked? Is that just me? Is that just me? I never have. Never have seen <laughs> Not like I stand here for hours and go, oh, come on. Come to the window. <laughs> go to the window. That's another movie reference. It seems to be ugh, full of annoying movie references these days. Knowing myself. Okay, I'm gonna go over here in the shade and uh, read what the comments are so far, and then I'll continue on. And maybe I'll take you through my favorite little uh, office building downtown. Okay, here we go in the shade. All right, all right, folks. Let's see what everybody say. Here we go. Hello from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Alex Tashay, cheers from the Black Sea. Still over there in the Black Sea? 
That's right, Louisiana. Carl, Elo, you're here, here. Good to see you. Kebster. Juicy. I'm sure these people are used to it. Thank you, David. Better get that walking for turns crazy out, I know. Good day, hello, good day, Australia. <laughs> How'd I get the name Sinatra Lennon? Because I love Frank Sinatra and I love John Lennon. I thought, and I, I don't remember why I came up with it, but that was just like, ooh, it's two of the coolest guys around, you know. Australia, again, another Australian? That's fantastic, fantastic. It's a little colder down there in Australia right now, isn't it? Winter time. Wales, it's warm, it's warm everywhere. Belgium, Wigan. And Golden Seal TV's been here the whole time. Nashville, old Caden, there you go. My sunnies, oh, I like that, sunnies. Yeah, I like my sunnies. You like my sunnies? San Angelo, oh, it's, I know it's gonna be hot in San Angelo. It's gonna be hot all over the place. All right, so let's continue walking and I'll stop again. Let's see, what do we got here? Frank Sinatra did have ties to the mafia, very true, very true. Uh, and uh, which way do I want to go? I'm going to go this way. We're going to walk past the convention center over there, the Austin Convention Center. I feel like such a good fall doing this. Chicago's warm, but not too bad. It's kind of cool. Somebody tune in. I know. Bulgaria till September 23rd. Okay, so Girl Alex is in Bulgaria, everybody. We got, that was, I'm sorry about the delay earlier. That was work. I, was, I wanted to go in and tell them I got people from all over the world waiting for this. I mean, true, it's true, but now we can walk down this scary alleyway, which I walk down all the time. We'll stay in the shade over here. That looks a little sun blasted, you know? Oh man, I'm starving. So when I get back to my car, it takes me about 25 minutes to get there. So I don't know how long uh, I'll do this thing. Maybe I'll take you in the car. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Philip, you're, that's why you're the best. You and the two Phils, Hazleton and Collins guys always right in there with the first and I always think it's funny because you guys will sometimes get like you know Collins will get first and Hazel will get first sometimes they swap but then you'll see like people like two or three back they're like first and it's like Ooh, I hate to tell you you know it was Phil again every now and then somebody gets in before so I don't know if they just hear the notification bell or what anyway so we're walking just I'm just walking back to my car this is me getting exercise you're joining me on my little exercise job uh, it's not too hot. It's like 90 something degrees. Let me see. Let's check for real. Come on, dude. Dang, watch. Yeah, it's still 97. 97. It is here. What time is it? It's almost noon, so I'm hungry. Uh, I was at work an hour and a half longer than I should have been, and my backup guy was already there. Now, if you were a fan of the real world, and who wasn't? I mean, that first one was cool, but all the rest, I don't know. The TV show. The real world on MTV. Uh, they had an MTV real world Austin and this was the real world house. Uh, now it is Vince Young's steakhouse. Vince Young was the quarterback for the University of Texas Longhorns who won the national championship in 2005. Oh, there goes a delivery robot. See Coco? Let me turn it around there. See that little Coco? That's a delivery robot delivering food to people. Oh, he's got a little ramp to go up. I wondered how he got out. See him going up the ramp over there? We have these delivery robots now in Austin. That's one of them. There are two different kinds. That one's a friendly looking kind. And then there's one that's kind of like, looks like a Darth Vader kind, but it's silver. So this is what, this is the future. Hats off to the future, folks. Anyway, this is the Vince Young Steakhouse. I've never been in there. But uh, I do love a good steakhouse every now and then. But they're a little, a little bit pricey. Steakhouses are very proud of themselves and their food. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's come across the street here. I have a crosswalk. I have a stop sign. They're putting in a light. They're putting, oh look, they're putting another steakhouse across the street from the steakhouse. Battle it out. Gay Prime. This used to be in the Mexico. The Hyatt Place is where they put us up when we had the snowstorm. So if you saw that, I walked from the Hyatt Place right there to where I just came from. Uh, we're just out and about. I'm just taking my exercise, getting back to my car. It takes, like I said, about 20 some odd minutes to walk back. So there and back is a nice little jaunt, but I feel like I've done something. Learning all the things that I eat. 
remember the times of day that I eat. This is a great place to be ever in Austin, the Royal Blue Group. We have very good pre pre prepared sandwiches and various and sundry items. Everybody's going to lunch right now. Everybody's out about more construction, I swear. You know, some, some comedian a while back said, you know, when you imagine the future, didn't you think that they'd at least be done with the roads? I mean, I understand the upkeep and all that, but I guess it just never ends. There's the big giant JW Marriott right there, fancy. I'm gonna go over here and look and see what everybody's saying, because I don't want to neglect what you're saying. I just can't read it in the glare. Okay. Had any nachos lately? Um, not, not in a few days. <laughs> Should shave on top of the tallest building in Austin? No, yeah, that'd be fun. Marvels of Modern Delivery. We saw the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile earlier. Yeah, a personal delivery robot would be nice. Greetings, everybody. Fast hunting. You got your first Gillette Fat Boy in the mail today. Cool George Jones. See you, help me now, thanks. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a doodle bug. Like a pill bug. I got confused for a second. Sheesh. I honestly did get confused for a second. I was like, minute, where am I? Which direction am I heading? I try to multitask. And we're starving to death. I haven't eaten since 8 o'clock last night. I'm still doing that intermittent fasting and getting my exercise in the best I can. This is my favorite office building you walk through. Even though I don't work here, it's got a beautiful lobby. Maybe I'll show it to you. Maybe we'll walk through it together. But I don't want to talk to you in there. Talking when you're outside is okay, too. It could be FaceTiming with a family member or loved one. Talking to all my friends around the globe like I am doing. But I uh, appreciate y'all being here. How many people we got? 32 people! Hope you're uh, having a good day wherever you are. And here is the entrance. I'm going here. I'm going to turn you around. This is the, you know, the 301 Congress. Oops. I love walking through this, it's so nicely air-conditioned and beautiful, it smells clean. Doing some hard work here. When I was a kid, I always imagined I'd work in an office building like this. Family's well, thank you, Alex. Hope yours is the same, hope your husband's doing all right. Hope the job's doing all right. So here's the lobby, let me show you what I like to do. There's a bank. I'll turn around when I get to the exit. See, we've got some nice views outside. I'll turn around and show, oh, this is a great place, Taco Deli. If you want a really good taco, breakfast taco, lunch, whatever, Taco Deli is great, I love it. See, it's a big open glassed in atrium. It's beautiful in here. I love this, I love this place. I'll walk through here as much as I can on the way to work. Right, let's see what everybody's seeing. Rockwell's on sale for Prime Day. Oh, there you go. Roberto Lapano, good to see you. Got your fat from Razor and All right, let's go back outside and continue walking, shall we? Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't just cut you off by walking through that building. In an attempt to show you something nice on a show off the live stream. All right, we're crossing Congress now, and uh, Congress is the main thoroughfare here in downtown Austin. Cornwall in the UK, fantastic. I wish I was there right now. Actually, I'm doing okay. Right where I am. If you come to Austin, you'll see about 90% of the population has tattoos, which is was never my thing. I've never there was never anything that really wrong that bad on my body. Except maybe the Beatles drum roll logo, you know, like the drum head that says the Beatles. That was the only thing I ever thought I might get, but I'm like, I don't need to put that on my body. Okay, here's Congress, crossing Congress. You see the Capitol in the distance? See it here in a second? It is way off in the distance. Can you see it? We're gonna cross over where, if you wanna follow me on a map, I'm at Congress and Third Street. And I believe, uh, yeah, Austin. Congress and Third. Got some food trucks here. Kebabalicious. They're not open right now. Malone Coffee. Specialty coffee. So if you want a nice piping hot coffee here, 
104 degree day. It's only 97 degrees right now, so it's not bad. Fahrenheit, that is. This is not a good food truck. I tried this place once, not good. They fix phones, so if I drop it, they can fix it. I repair, one up repairs. Now we're gonna go down this alley that I go down and go into what they call the warehouse district. Let me flip this around, I'll show you some of the old buildings. See the old stone buildings? A lot of these downtown buildings like these were built in the 1800s, the old cowboy days, you know? Texas, when Austin was a frontier town. And uh, the warehouse district that we're gonna walk through, it's of course now like these modern buildings. That building is kind of shaped like a Star Trek tricorder from the original series. And then we got the Frost Bank building. But anyway, there are still some remnants of the old frontier town of Austin here. Uh, you got these old stone limestone building, a lot of limestone around here. That's what they build them out of. So this uh, warehouse district, which a lot of them went torn down and built these modern buildings, used to be, you know, where they would have warehouses and stuff like that. Of course, D thus we call it the warehouse district. But back in the cowboy days, there was also the red light district. So lots of brothels, lots of saloons down here. So we're going to walk through where all the old brothels and saloons were. Unfortunately, none of them are open. There are saloons, but no more brothels. Fortunately. smelling wood smoke instead of food. Ooh, there's a smooshed bird on the ground. I'm not gonna show you that. But here's a big, beautiful limestone wall, that building that I was just pointing out a minute ago. One of the old ones. Now we're gonna go through this stinky old alley here. This is the warehouse district. I love these big, heavy openings in the warehouses. Now turned into, you know, modern uh, businesses and things like that. around here and we'll look at so here we are at fourth street and here's an old warehouse it used to be a spaghetti warehouse back in the 80s and 90s and now it's the Capitol grill but this was an old warehouse in the you know 1800s whatever until they stopped having them as warehouses there's a modern building so this is the warehouse district there's a true lux restaurant right there that right there is a high-end Seafood restaurant, Capitol Grill, Sushi Bar, the Parker Jazz Club, and Hen. I guess you're gonna have hen parties there. Ooh, look at this. Let's see what we got. Yellow polka dot bikini, orange yasalti, margarita punch bowl. Look at that sucker. I want that. And the wicked watermelon. Yeah, I'm going for the uh, margarita punch bowl. Maybe take some of the salt off. But here we are in the warehouse district. And uh, boy, this uh, this town has changed. I've lived here for 30 some odd years and uh, this none of these giant skyscrapers were here in this part of town back then. And they've only popped up in the past 10 years or so. Now, supposedly that building behind me used to be a place called the B-Side. There's a little bar down in the basement of this club. And it's haunted. If you believe in that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if I believe in it, but I like the idea. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stand in front of the haunted bar. I'm gonna lean against this old warehouse, this old brick, and read what everybody's saying. Hi, everybody. Just taking a walk back to my car. Just taking some time. It was late, because work was late. Marcus having your first cup of coffee? What time is it there, Marcus? Fast owner's getting a shave at, watch out. Don't go for the number chat. <laughs> Thank you, JC Shaves is here. JC Shaves holding it down in chat. Porta potty, and they said, oh yes. I heard that some long-time residents present Austin's rapid change. Yeah, it's tough. Yep, my day's doing well, Justin. Thank you. Martini shake and not stir. John Shaves 101 is here, everybody. I keep trying to get you more and more. Every time I come on, every time I see you there, go to John Shaves 101 subscribe. Subscribe to his daughter's channel. Please put her channel name up there. I can't remember what it is. She's got one, too. Oh, it's... Wait, you're just now having a cup of coffee, Marcus? I can't remember where you live. Brian Garcia is here. What's a good starter drink when you turn 21? Oh man, 
it's probably some if you never had alcohol before, something that's slightly sweet, not too sweet, you know. But uh, that that always helps out. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to you too, John. All right, let's keep walking. We're in the warehouse district. There's True Lux again. I still haven't eaten there. It's a little too high end, you know, for me. I'm not that fancy. Although I do love seafood, especially fried shellfish, like fried shrimp, crab, lobster. I'm not huge into fish, but uh, now here's the, uh, there's a few gay bars on this side of the street. Uh, and you can see this rainbow colors for pride because this has always traditionally been where the gay bars are. Past the street, all right, we got the walk. And, ooh, I'm gonna show you the It's called Keshe. If you're ever here in C-H-E, Keshe. Get that at any other bar. When you come to this bar, you gotta order something. Uh, is everybody still here? Is it the guys hearing me? Yeah, so I turned off the Wi-Fi. Nathan Cruz is here. Good to see you. I'm going to show you. Did you, did you guys hear me talking about my favorite cocktail bar that I'm going to show you here in a minute? It's called Peche. There we go. Now we got the people back. Sorry about that. Man. Okie dokie. Yeah, I know. I got delayed. But we got to see the Wienermobile earlier. And uh, a dead bird squished on the ground. <laughs> okay, now we got some people back. Good. Good. We got some uh, sirens, too. What was the last thing you guys heard me talking about? I'm going to show you my favorite cocktail bar. It's called Peche. P-E-C-H-E. It's right here. Hi, dude. Darren Snowden. I'm staying over here in the shade as much as I can because it's hot outside. I mean, you know, I don't mind that much. I'm used to it. But... If your phone does it, I know. I know. Going to head off and make dinner. All right, Fast Hunter. Take care. I'm going to show you guys Peche. Flip it around here so you can see it instead of me. So here's the. They have a ton of. Uh, 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 what's that stuff? Dang it. Uh, absinthe. Started off as an absinthe bar, like, and they have all the absinthe in the world. But my favorite thing that they always have, old school bananas Foster for dessert. I love any place that has bananas Foster. Here's their cocktail menu. Go check it out online. Peche P. C H E with accents on each. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in Austin, Texas. And here's a bunch of cocktails. This guy takes his cocktails seriously. I don't think they're open right now, but that's what it looks like inside. Look at this place. Gorgeous old building. Gorgeous old bar. I love it. Peche. I don't get to go here enough. I'm glad I'm here now. Okay, but I continue on. Yeah, I'm still doing the intermittent fasting, just, uh, you know, kind of like maintaining, I guess. I don't need to lose any more weight, that's for sure. And I don't know how much I could if I did. I've still got like, you know, just old man, you know, once you get to a certain age, there's, there's portions of uh, belly fat that just will not go away. They're like, nope, I've been here this long. Here's a place called The Pub. I haven't been in here, but it used to be an Irish pub. It looks like it still is. Any Irishmen in the audience read that for me? Turn it around so it's not backwards. I know that's pronounced falcha, right? And then this, I don't know, it's Gaelic. Anybody? 
Larry, you're uh, fasting the second Thursday of each week. There you go. Hopefully that'll work for you. And there's something called the Wiley Building. There's some other big building. I don't know what happening buildings are in this town anymore. It, it changes so much. These are my favorite stairs in town because there's a little ramp here. See this little ramp? When I'm walking the other way, I like to do this. This is a nice coffee bar called Halcyon. Coffee for what you can change, cocktails for what you can't. So as I'm walking along, back in the early days, we'd go party and we'd step right on here and that'd be like, that'd be the step off ramp for the party to begin. So that's what I always remember when I walk through the warehouse district here. This used to be a bunch of places. Now it's Halcyon, coffee bar. Now around the corner is a restaurant, La Vaca Street Bar and Turf Surf. Po boys and tacos. Right back over there. The Vodka Street Bar has been here forever, and that should have been here for a very long time, too. What do we got here? There you go. Texas Heat. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah, Epson. I think I got it, buddy. We're going to continue the walk. Oh, I am hungry though, so when I, when I sign off, I'm going to go get something to eat because I haven't eaten since yesterday <laughs> doing the intermittent fasting. I've gone way past my 11 o'clock. Uh, what time is it? 12.15, so yeah. All right, we're going to cross over here because they're doing some construction where I normally walk. So we're going to walk. This, this building right here screams of the 80s. This was designed in the 80s. I remember uh, that building... Like, we took a life drawing class in college, like 1990. We had to, like, draw aspects of this building, and that's what I remember. Being here in 19, you know, I moved here in 1988, so I've been here a long time. Seen a lot of changes, that's for sure. Hey, you guys want to see the Willie Nelson statue? It's just up ahead. Howdy. So that's the fancy W Hotel. Those are always fancy. And when it opened, and right now they have a uh, Willie Nelson sculpture out front, which I'm going to go show you. And uh, I absolutely adore Willie Nelson. I have my whole life. I've actually got to uh, meet him, shake his hand, and talk to him twice. So I feel very fortunate to have encountered that guy. An absolute legend. A leg end. Hey, remember those two steakhouses earlier? There's another one right there. So we got no shortage of steakhouses. That's Bob's. That's a steak and chop Nice. So we're going to go over here, past the Starbucks, past the 80s building. It's a estate building right there, so it's not the most attractive thing in the world. Neither am I. Here, we got the signal. We're going to cross here. Where I'm at La Vaca and 3rd Street. So if you want to follow along on the map, La Vaca 3rd. La Vaca means the cow. We made it in one word. It's made around here in Austin by uh, Tito Beverage. His actual name is Beverage. Crazy. And then we're going to walk past the fancy W. There's a Starbucks I go to all the time. Well, not all the time, but. Whew. I'm hot, I'm hungry. But we're going to keep going. We're going to press on. It's an hour and a half late, and I'm not going to give up on it. We've had a lot of technical glitches, but we're moving on. Moving along. Statue, which is right just ahead. Off to bed. Good night, okie dokie. <laughs> oh, gotcha, Marcus. That's why, yeah, I don't blame you. That, that stuff can really give you a stomach ache, man. Especially black coffee. Oof. That'll just hit like a bomb and just make you crazy. Okay, so right around here, there's City Hall, by the way. The Austin City Hall is that brown building. And right here, well, if you've heard of uh, Austin City Limits, here's the sign for the longest running music series in American television history. It recorded its first program with Willie Nelson in October of 1974. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Willie Nelson. Sculpture. And that's his, his guitar trigger. Like uh, the Gene Autry with the Lone Ranger trigger. Lone Ranger? No, that was Silver. Gene Autry's horse. There's Willie. How you doing, Willie? 
And when this place opened, this hotel, the W, there's a big W up there, and they put uh, his braids and his bandana around the W, so the W looked like Willie himself. And Willie actually performed here with Chris Christopherson and Willie's two sons, and they set the stage up right where that bush area is. So I was standing kind of over here. This wasn't one of the times I talked to him. This is just one of the times I saw him play, which I always forget. I was standing about right here. So there's a statue and he was right there with Chris Christopherson and a bunch of other luminaries and his sons and stuff. And uh, yeah, it was great. I don't remember when that was. It was a long time ago. Maybe 12, 13, 14 years ago. Willie, here's the back. Do you ever want to see the backside of Willie? There's Willie. Love you, Willie. Sit up straight, sit up straight. Posture's not that good. And uh, so they, they take now Austin City Limits here. It used to be on campus, UT campus. And it looks like they're setting up for something. I don't know what. Something's going on. Well, let's go see who's going to be performing soon at Austin City Limits here in the theater. We buy tickets right here. Oh, they took it down, dang it. They put one of the... Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Here we go. Here's a list. I hate those QR codes, man, especially at restaurants. So sick of that. Here we go. So what's today, the 12th? So we got Bidi Bidi Banda, a tribute to Selena coming up. And then Remember Jones, Bad Bad, I don't know who any of these people are. A Kate Bush Bash, a Crash Test Dummies. Oh my gosh. 1990 called and they want your mm-mm-mm's back. Well, I can't say I'm very impressed with the lineup, but uh, maybe some of you will be. Maybe some of those are your favorites. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, there you go. Changing times. It used to be you'd see Jerry Jeff Walker or... Uh, Selena, yeah, Selena, Selena. The tragic, tragic uh, Tejano star. Killed many years ago by her number one fan. Terrible. Okay, now we're walking what do they call this area? Second Street District? Because we're on Second Street. Second Guadalupe. Or as we say here, Guadalupe. Second Guadalupe. And lots of restaurants around here. There's a uh, an Austin Rocks store right there. So it's kind of like, this is City Hall, this whole building right here. I'll show you the, there's a pointy thing sticking out. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Run over, run over. See that pointy thing sticking out? That's City Hall. And Austin Rock, oh, you can see your reflected. See you Austin Rocks, so go in there, you can buy uh, t shirts and hats and mugs and you know, whatever, all kind of stuff. Austin pillows. Everyone around here treats me like some dime store floozy, says Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Okay, and then we got, speaking of barbecue, oh, there's across the, the river. So we got Lady Bird Lake, you can't see it, but there's the Colorado River runs through Austin, and that's called Lady Bird Lake because it is dammed up, so it is technically a lake. Lady Bird named after Lady Bird Johnson, the first lady uh, with uh, President Lyndon Baines Johnson. Oh, look at this, look at this girl across the street. Cowboy hat, boots, and yoga pant shorts. That's Austin right there. <laughs> Oh, and you get a little bit of the old school and the new school. Yoga, and cowboy boots. I love it. I love that kind of stuff. Maybe we gotta adapt, you know, everything's changing. The only constant in life is change, as they always say. Sometimes it's hard, and believe me, I know, I know. Now I'm gonna walk past uh, a couple of places. Uh, a couple of my favorite places. There is a, I haven't been to it in a long time, but there's a high-end Mexican restaurant right there. I mean, there are a million Mexican restaurants, Tex-Mex. When I say Mexican, I mean Tex-Mex. And some interior Mexican restaurants here in Austin. And this is, uh, what's the name of this dang barbecue? This is a barbecue joint right here. And speaking of change, the first time I was aware that things were changing was this barbecue place, Lambert's, that's what it's called. Uh, this was probably about, God, 15 years ago or more. Uh, we went in at two o'clock on, like a, on, a, on a Tuesday, you know, way after lunchtime, and we said, yeah, we would like a table for four, and they said, do you have reservations? We're like, it's two o'clock on a Tuesday, and there's no one here. They wouldn't seat us. So I've always had something against Lambert's. But I love this old store. It used to be uh, the J.P. Schneider store, built in the 1860s. So, you know, Civil War time, something like that. Beautiful American Civil War, I should say. Hopefully the only one we have. <clears throat> It's a little, ooh, so, oh, I smell the barbecue. You want to see how they, uh, what they cook their brisket and everything else with, what they smoke it with? Here's the, here's the wood, probably post oak. 
have uh, different barbecue uh, pit masters use different kinds of wood, but this is where they store it. And I can smell the smoke. I wish you guys could smell it. It's fantastic wood smoke. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'm starving. I might have to have barbecue after this is all done. So here, Toy Joy. This is a great little quirky toy shop. And it's not just like your normal stuff. They got all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, look at this. Look at this big hand. Look at this giant plastic rabbit. Ah, look at this. It's the Sesame Street gang. I love this place. If you're ever in Austin, go to Toy Joy. See you later, John. Just to play mobile stuff. And Yummy Joy next to it is the candy shop. Oh, they got candy, they got drinks. Inside the candy store, look at that. Isn't that nice? Candy shop, ice cream parlor kind of deal. And more restaurants. There's the Violet Crown Cinema right there, movie theater where you, you know, they bring you your food. Ooh, they're having squid jam, whatever that is. Squid jam, that Yummy Joy. So we're walking down Third Street. Oh, this is a nice place. I like the suits in the window here. I kind of want to get a custom-made suit. It's called League of Rebels. They make custom suits for you. Dun -dun 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 lemon, cilantro lemon. I got a couple of uh, vintage tuxedos. Ooh, I like this one. Look at this. Look at that. It's like crushed velvet. Wow, nice, nice. Probably very expensive out of my price range. Pizzeria over there. And uh, we're gonna go across a bridge. If you guys have ever, well, I don't know why you would have, but on Netflix there's a show called, I think it's called We Could Be Heroes. And it's about a bunch of superhero kids. And it was filmed here in Austin by Robert Rodriguez, who lives here and always sets his movies here. It's kind of like, like the John Hughes of Austin. Him and Richard Linklater. And uh, it was filmed up here at the library, the new fancy library we've got. These, all these buildings behind me were built in the past like three years. This all used to be open, low warehouse buildings. And now it's all this. It's crazy. I get lost, in, like I got lost earlier. I get lost in my own city sometimes. Like, hey, what used to be here? What the heck is here now? And there's no end in sight. Austin is booming. So we all got to get used to it. Now, oh, this is this is a sad thing. So this is the politique. This place is a huge business. It's a big restaurant. It goes from here all the way down, halfway of this. And it was going to open, and then the pandemic hit, and it never did. It never opened. So whoever started this thing, I mean, it's all set up, ready to go, but it just never opened for years now. What, three years? That stinks. All right, let's see what everybody's saying. Traveling through the sea resorts right now, and drivers are terrible, and girl Alex says, Oh yeah, you saw, yeah, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, there you go, the Unmasked Troll, exactly. So if you saw that, uh, you, then I'm going to show you, this is where the headquarters for uh, the superheroes were, but it's actually the library, and you might recognize the, the bridge I'm going to go over, because it's got these arches, and they made it look like there were two of them, even though there's only one in real life. Have a wonderful evening, John. Thank you, Elo, for the nice hair comment. JC Shave's still there. Drunken711. John Shaves is out of here. Marcus Shank is good. All right, everybody's still going crazy how much Austin has grown the last few years. Yeah, how long have you lived here, George? Long time. So we're gonna, so here, let me show you, this is Le Politique, like I said, it never opened. They're ready to go, it's a nice looking place. It was gonna be like some kind of a fancy French bistro slash uh, patisserie, that kind of thing. And it just never opened, so one more casualty of everything. Ooh, the door's kind of open. The door, the door's locked, but it's open. Look at, look at that. Look at that coffee bar they had ready to go. Or is it a bar bar? It's just a bar bar. Bar bar. Nice, but yeah, never never open. They're still paying taxes on it, this property. Hi, everybody. See? It really is me. Brasserie. So there's the brasserie, and the patisserie is up here. The bakery, that's for... That's, that's bakery in American, but alas, they even put some nice, looks like vintage, but it's not. It's all brand new. Look at that. Put a lot of effort in that. Look, they're ready to go. The coffee cups are there, unused. The coffee grinder is there, unused. I don't know. 2007? Okay, you live in Tulsa time. That's right. That's right. That's what you said. I apologize. It's hard for me to keep track of anything as I do this. Okay, we're going to cross 
the little bridge over here and show you the library. Janet St. Paul, the studio for hair and beauty. Ooh, fancy. I can't go in there. I have hair, but I'm not a beauty. Oh, Torchy's Tacos. If you've never heard of Torchy's Tacos, and you're in town, and I think they're spreading around. Started here, fantastic tacos. All different crazy kinds of delicious tacos. Check them out. They're great. All right. We're getting within range of the car. It'll be another 10, 15 minutes. I'll kind of extend it out a little bit. But this here is the, one of the newest buildings in all. This is the Google building. Google, it looks like from one side, it looks like a sailboat. From this side, it curves up. It's like a like a, like you sliced a bit of a sphere off, and this is like a wedge of a sphere. You can't tell from this angle, but trust me, that's what it is. Okay, we're gonna cross the street, I believe. Yeah, I say I believe. I mean, I'm the one walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking. I'm gonna show you the quote unquote headquarters for We Could Be Heroes, Robert Rodriguez, Netflix movie about kids starring. Pedro Pascal, the Mandalorian. So the Mandalorian was here. They actually filmed a scene over there where he was fighting those robots. That's where he got uh, captured. And then here's all the bird scooters. Too many scooters to count. It's another fancy hotel, I think. Yeah. It's all hotels and fancy expensive condo down here now. It's really turning into Los Angeles, where at, whereas Austin used to be like a little hill country town, like a little school town with the University of Texas, you know, a bunch of cosmic cowboys and Billy Nelson. I mean, there's still some of that here, that's for sure, but a lot of Californians have moved in and they like the fancier stuff, I guess. <laughs> so here is that bridge. Big, beautiful, interesting bridge with those arches on it. Kind of want to climb up there, but at such an angle, I would fall right off. Here's a big owl, another big owl. And if you look at his eyes, they look like they follow you. Oh, no. Oh, no. And here's, uh, I believe this is Waller Creek or Shoal Creek. I think it's Shoal Creek. Anyway, so there's the headquarters of the We Could Be Heroes kids. Check it out on Netflix. And look at this. Oh, God, that water looks nasty because we have not had rain in I don't know how long. So now it's stagnant and it's full of trash, folks. Whew. You got to see the, the beautiful with the ugly. You got to take them both, you know? And this is, that water is disgusting. God, you could probably catch every disease in the world from that right now. And I guarantee it's warm and gross. The bacteria content in there must be off the charts. But uh, normally after a nice rain, rainstorm, it's beautiful. Rushing water that leads out to Lady Bird Lake. Over there, we're walking parallel with Lady Bird Lake. That's the library. That's the main downtown library. Up here is the old power plant, which is now uh, like uh, some sort of a business. And there's a Trader Joe's over there and a bunch of, there's like these two high-end coffee places that are back to back, which I've been to, but I don't, you know, I'm a simple man. I don't need like five, $6 coffee. Uh, I'll go to a gas station and, and drink their coffee out of a styrofoam cup. That's fine with me. But uh, a lot of people like the fancy stuff and that's okay. That's why they have, that's why we have options, folks. I'm going to walk along Shoal Creek here for a minute. I think it's Shoal Creek. Gosh dang, I've lived here long and I can think of it. I'm tempted to step on that uh, packet of ketchup on the ground. I'm not going to do it. Pop all over me, I'm sure. Oh, another thing. Uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Unmasked Troll that said he had watched the uh, We Could Be Heroes. Do you recognize this building from that movie? It's, we call it the Jenga building here in town because it looks like it's about to slide out and fall over. Look at that thing, isn't that crazy? It makes me, it makes me uh, uh, nervous. But at the beginning of that movie, this is a straight up and down building and then one of the superheroes gets thrown into it and it all goes like this, like you see it as it actually is. I thought that was great because it is a fairly new building within the past five years and we're all still getting used to how tall it is and what it looks like, you know? So yeah, so you got the headquarters all of this stuff is where they filmed, and just right over there is also where they filmed, uh, oh, sorry, right over there is where they filmed some of that movie. Check it out, folks. You'll be able to uh, say, hey, I've been there before, even though it was me who was there. I still showed you around. Oh, man. It's getting hot. It's getting hot, kids. Oh, and there's a beautiful old railroad trestle up here that I love. It's been there for 
forever when this was all still warehouses around here. I had to get the trains in there to drop stuff off, pick stuff up, and, and you know, take it. Ooh, there's a big blue heron. Look at that. Dang it. See that blue heron flying? Giant blue heron. Gorgeous. Here's the railroad trestle. It's only, it's cut off on both sides. But it's a beautiful old wooden railroad trestle. I'm gonna, they still have the, the tracks on it. I'll show them walk up here. This is where the power plant used to like empty out hot water, I'm sure, back in the 20s and 30s when they built it. I'm sure <laughs> environmentally unsound, but they fixed it since then. Now it's Trader Joe's. So now you got all the hipsters and Californians. I got any Californians, but 